I'm Rahana Prince. I just graduated from the Bachelor of Philosophy Honours Asia Pacific program. I chose to do the PhD because I was really attracted to the research element and being able to focus on topics that I was really interested in. I really enjoyed um, working with my PhD mentor and it was something I really looked forward to when I signed up for the program and I wound up with a really good mentor in the end, um, Professor Hugh White, and got to work very closely with him over the four years. There were lots of good things about the PHB program, not just the research element. Um, I really liked the small cohort, especially when I started, that was a real benefit. Um, in arts or Asia Pacific studies, you tend to do a really um, different combination of classes to everybody else. And so it was really nice to have a class with the people that were in my degree and I made some of my best friends that way. I majored in international relations. I was really interested coming out of college in uh, American politics and history and also uh, politics and history in Asia. Um, and so I thought IR would be perfect. Um, as I went through university, I figured out that actually studying IR is, wasn't right for me because it's very theory based and I uh, started to take more and more CAP subjects, College of Asia Pacific, and discovered that that really suited me and my interests more. So became interested in China and Indonesia and Southeast Asian history and politics and how the US and Australia um, interact with that. So all through the PHB program, um, we've been encouraged to apply for the ERO courses, which are the International Alliance of Research University courses. Um, this year, um, I checked the course list and there was one on major issues concerning the rise of China, which I thought was right up my alley. Um, and given my honours topic, um, I thought I really wanted to go. I headed off to Beijing and studied at Peking University, which is right in the heart of Beijing. Um, Beijing was a fantastic city to live in for that month. It's really exciting, lots happening, it's really developing, um, great atmosphere and the uni itself is, I mean, it's a hundred hundreds and hundreds of years old, so it was a lovely place to be around. I really enjoyed being with an international cohort, so we had Japanese students, European students, British students, Australians, Americans, who all brought very unique perspectives to the discussion around the rise of China. Um, I hadn't been to China before, I hadn't learnt any Mandarin, so it was a very interesting experience for me and I'm, I'm dying to go back. I managed to get a job in the Department of Prime Minister and Cabinet, working in Indigenous Affairs, which I'm really excited about. Um, but I will be doing a Master's at ANU next year, Master's of Strategic Studies. I had such a great time hanging around with Hugh White and the crew at Headley Bull that I really want to come back and I didn't think I was ready to leave quite yet.